Hey everybody, Dylan Strachan here, coming to you live from Batlantic Studios. So I do a quick back to drawing board, talk about comic book shirts on my drawing table, dip into the bowl of art supplies. Oh boy, look at all those sweet, sweet art supplies. Um, yeah, the Zoop campaign for Warhood issue one was a success. We hit goal. Uh, I got more backers than, than my previous Zoop crowdfunding campaign, so that was great. Thank you so, so much to all the backers that showed up and cared and backed and got a reward and helped us hit goals. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's always stressful and exciting to launch crowdfunding campaigns. I've done a few of them now, and you're never quite sure. Are people going to show up? Do they care? Are they excited? Do they want the new thing? Or are they able to back you know i mean there's a lot of factors and sometimes you just kind of have to hope that people want what you're doing and and show up and enjoy it and so anytime i have a successful crowdfunding campaign i'm always so so grateful and so so appreciative so thank you everybody that backed the campaign and now i just collect the funds pay the printer and the book's already done so i just have to ship them out and pay for the shipping which is uh ugh, printing and shipping i may eesh, expensive <laughs> printing and shipping are really where the bulk of the funds go in any of these crowdfunding campaigns and i roll over any of the excess into the next one so uh want, working on warhood issue two and maybe some other new projects those will all be revealed on my patreon uh, which is makecomicscool.com so and of course still distraction.com that's my YouTube channel and Dylan Andrews Art if you want to see examples of my work. Yeah, so I'm going to be showing everybody on the Patreon the uh, the new stuff. I got some new stuff I want to work on and I want to continue working on Warhood and the response was positive. People seemed excited about it, so that's cool. going to keep rolling with Warhood and that's really my favorite character and I, I want to just keep exploring his life and his journey and his ups and his downs and tragedies and successes and failures. And it really is my most personal work ever. If you read into it, there's a lot of me in that character. And so it is always exciting when people respond to something that is so personal. You know, I mean, it's, it's really, really a treat and a joy and a pleasure to, um, to have people see what I'm making and, and respond to it and want to support it. And, you know, it's a, it's a weird time right now with comic books. <laughs> there's a lot going on. Uh, there's a lot that is out of my control and I'm, I'm hopeful that things are going to be really good this year for everybody. I mean, I want every creator that's making a comic book, whatever it is, whoever it's for, I want them to be successful. I want them to make something that they're excited about and proud of and that they want to put out into the universe. Um, yeah, regardless of what it's about. If it's for me or not for me, I just want it to be made and put out in the universe. And I want people to make stuff that they're excited about and passionate about. And I want people to make money so they can keep making more comic books. That's really what it boils down to. So, uh, And then retailers retailers to do well online resellers to do well people to make variant covers people to make corporate comics people to make independent comics people to make ash cans people to make zines with sequential art cartoonists pretty much everybody i want everybody to be doing really well and be real successful this year that's what i want for for everyone um and yeah warhood is is definitely my favorite character that I've created and I was thinking about it like I created him years ago I, I remember looking back I might try to dig up some of the old really embarrassing versions of him um, my art has grown and expanded and changed a lot and it's you don't realize it while, you, while you're doing it you know you you pull from your influences and you look at stuff you think is awesome and you try to do something that's also awesome that's different but you know is it's definitely inspired by other people and, and you know obviously there's a lot of frank miller in my stuff there's a lot of eric larson in my stuff there's a lot of um i'd say paul pelletier in my stuff I mean, maybe people don't see it but it's it's there a lot of um tyler kirkham in my stuff a lot of 
Howard Porter in my stuff. A lot of Declan Shalvey in my stuff, too. I look at a lot of Declan Shalvey work, and there's just so many great creators, and, you know, trying to create something that's inspired, but different. And, uh, you know what? There's not, there's a lot of Mark Silvestri in my stuff. A lot of John Romita Jr., some Stephen Platt, definitely a lot of David Finch. I think there's some Jack Kirby and some John Byrne in there, in the mix. You know, when I'm looking at stuff, when I'm thinking about stuff, definitely Matt Wagner in there. I'm just looking around the room at stuff. <laughs> Who else is in there? Who else? Uh, Bart Sears. I love Bart Sears. Look at a lot of his tutorial stuff. Um, yeah, those are kind of the big ones. Not a lot of... Uh, not a lot of hyper-realistic, so not a lot of... Um, who did the authority hitch yeah not a lot of hitch that was the kind of stuff when when hitch's stuff started coming out i was like yeah not for me uh definitely frank quietly i love frank quietly's stuff but hitch's work on the authority i was like eh, i'm good and i know that that stuff is you know the ultimate is incredible and he's super popular and, um definitely a, a force to be reckoned with and the guy's no, hats off to him. He's managed to make that seemingly quite laborious style into a very popular um, body of work. But it's just not for me, you know, and everybody's got their own stuff that they're drawn to, and that's just never been something I've, I've loved. So you won't see a lot of that in what I'm doing, right? You'll see more Dale Keown. You'll see more um, Stephen Platt, you know, that sort of cartoony less photo referenced less yeah I'd say Hitch is probably the guy where it kind of split you know if you're like oh 90s comics where did 90s comics end and 2000s comics begin I'd say Ultimates you know I love the Mark Bagley stuff in the Ultimate Spider-Man I love the David Finch stuff in the Ultimate Universe but the um the hitch stuff just was like, eh, I don't know, not, my, not really my thing. But it's just personal preference. Everybody likes different stuff. I love Scott Collins. If you haven't seen his stuff on the Flash, I love the Jeff John, Jones run on the Flash. Uh, what else? Those are kind of my big ones. I'm just looking around the room. I, there's some big Mignola. I look at Mignola occasionally. Um, Lee Weeks, David Mazzucchelli, those guys are, though, if you want to talk about two of the best to ever do it, I'd say Lee Weeks and Mazzucchelli on Daredevil, you could look at those and yeah, you'd be like, yep, that's pretty much perfect. <laughs> and the, I think there's some John Romita Jr. stuff in there too, where you're like, yep, that's, that's the pinnacle. If you're like, what's the highest bar you could raise? And be like, everything from there is different. Not better, but different. Where did it tip as far as the pinnacle of illustration? I'd say, I'd say probably the Lee Weeks, David Mazzucchelli working with Frank Miller and uh, maybe Kieran Dwyer, too, doing, like, Bloodstone Hunt, right? If you're, like, peak 80s, pre-90s, just bonkers stuff. I'd say that Daredevil stuff. Just, you look at that stuff now and you're like, I don't think anything's come out since then that could rival this as far as just cartooning and... Oh, actually, I'm going to go grab it. I'm going to go grab some... I'm going to show you. Hold on. You tell me. You tell me, world. I'm looking right now. I'm looking at it on the shelf. Here we go. Daredevil Born Again by David Mazzucchelli. Artisan Edition. What? I mean, come on. If you're talking pencils and pens on paper telling stories, 
And I think this might be part of the new um, Disney Plus streaming storyline. But, I mean, come on. I dare you to find anything. And you know what's funny about this? It feels very manga to me. <laughs> this line work. You could put this panel in a Tonko Bond and be like, oh, this is the new No Guns Life or the new Chainsaw Man or Colorless, the one I'm reading right now, or Appleseed or any of, any current. I mean, and you'd be like, yeah, this is, if you love manga, if you love comic books, if you love American comic books, if you love sequential art, I dare you to show me something better than that. Do it. Find it. Try. Try. I would be, I bet it's hard to do. I'd even say like Dark Knight Returns and stuff. You look at that Klaus Janssen masterpiece, Frank Miller Klaus Janssen masterpiece. You look at that and you could still tell they're trying to figure it out, right? So some of that stuff looks more Klaus Janssen-y and some of that stuff looks more Frank Miller-ish. You know, they're kind of, especially if you look at the artist edition, they're like trading back and forth. There's a lot of white out, there's a lot of overlay. They're still kind of refining that feel, working collaboratively. But that David Mazzucchelli stuff, and then I'd say Lee Weeks and Kieran Dwyer after them on, on Frank Miller, on, on the Daredevil. And then John Romita Jr. And then Rick Leonardi. I mean, that's just, ugh, ugh, come on. I would love if there was stuff like that being produced now. If there was a run of, with that feel, I mean, that's like, oh, so good. I don't, I mean, maybe Batman Deadly Duo right now by Silvestri is, is kind of touching upon that sort of really traditionally drawn sort of technique. I'd say maybe he's doing some of that. But man, stuff is so good. So good. I wish they would do those in um, omnibuses, right? Because right now the omnibuses for, there's a couple of epic collections. Um, but, and of course, artist editions. I just showed you that artist sin edition, which I think is great. But man, if they could do omnibuses, omnibuys, omnibuses of some of that run I don't even know how that would what would that be the um, 80s right late 80s early 90s daredevil stuff I don't think there is an omnibus of that if there is I would have it and the senti her stuff there's a few epic collections but So yeah, I've been looking at some of that. Um, just because it's such a classic comic book stuff. What else have I been reading? What else have I been reading? Um, manga. No Guns Life. It's great. Um, Colorless. Reading that right now. Great. Um, Chainsaw Man. Read that. Great. I mean, there's just so much good. And if you know of any others that you're like, oh, you got to check out, what's the new one? Firepower? Firepower. That one I'm, I'm getting into. That'll be next on the on the list. By the same guy that did Chainsaw Man. Whose name I don't know. Can't remember. But so much good stuff right now. As far as... And then American Comics Local Man by Tim Seeley. I think that's really fun. That's that's touching all the all the things I love in a comic book. Um, what's some other ones? Uh, Old Dog, Declan Shialdi. I think that's really good. I think it's a little bit of a delay on that book, but excited for that to come out in a trade. Um, of course, The Deadly Duo. Batman, that looks really good. But it's, it's mostly omnibus. It's mostly older stuff I'm currently checking out. The Moon Knight. They just did a... Um, the Donny Cates. The Omnibus. That looks great. I like Ryan Stegman's stuff quite a bit. 
I think that was the last really exciting corporate uh, big two series that got people people worked up. It's probably that Donny Cates Venom run. Hopefully that you know he's able to return to making comics soon. Now he's taking a bit of a hiatus, which is important. You gotta focus on your, focus on yourself, your health. You gotta focus on your health. Comic books can be a lonely, sedentary process. And you have to really make sure you're taking time to focus on your health, staying active as much as possible, mentally healthy, physically healthy. You're really, people think like, oh, I can grind out, do, you know, I can sleep less, work more and really just kind of burn the candle and man the work suffers for it it's hard to produce quality stuff if your vision's blurry and your hands hurt and your back hurts and you just feel like garbage so really important to focus on staying healthy mentally physically emotionally i think personally personally i think it's really important Maybe you disagree. Maybe you think the best comics are made in panic mode. In a, in a panicked, uh, anxiety-ridden disaster bill. Maybe. Maybe some good work comes out of that. Possibly. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do work like that. I would much rather try to make it a peaceful, zen-like experience if possible. So yeah, thank you everybody that went to the Zoop campaign and backed the book. War at issue one. We hit goal. And I'm going to be providing people with extra bonus stuff. Like, anybody that backs my work, I never want you to feel like you aren't getting your money's worth. So you'll be getting extra bonus stuff. Everybody's getting cool stuff to back. I really, really appreciate everybody's continued support. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna just keep working on this character. Oh, I didn't tell you who this character is. So this, I wanted to create a like a reverse Flash version of Warhood, and I'm either gonna call him Death Hood, which I thought sounded cool, or I'll have him be, or I'll have a different character be called Death Hood. I like, I want to use Death Hood, and then um, so yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna call him Death Hood. And then he'll be like he's got a shard of the of the warhood. Similarly to how I loved when uh, in Spider Man, Venom was breaking out of prison. Eddie Brock's breaking out of prison, and the Venom symbiote left like you know a piece of itself behind, and that's how you got Carnage with. Um, And so I loved that Cletus Cassidy carnage. And so I wanted to have, or like the reverse Flash, like this character that's the opposite of the Flash. So all the um, kind of the makeup of the Flash, but the rubber. So that's gonna be Death Hood. I want a big character that spikes. Kind of like um, Pitt or uh, Doomsday. Right? I like that look. So I'm going for something like that. But my own thing. So Similar but different. But I definitely wear all my inspirations on my sleeve. So then I just go through and I'm just gonna, I'm just drawing in ink essentially. I'm not really inking to anything, I'm not really following any sort of underdrawing. I just know approximately where the character is and then just kind of blah, 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 blah. So, DylanDistraction.com, that's my YouTube channel. Make comics cool, that's my Patreon. Thank you everybody that backed the Warhood campaign on Zoop and Death Hood. I'll keep drawing this, I'll keep posting about it. And yeah, like, subscribe, share. Okay, thanks, bye.